and AI is a big trend, is a buzzword these days. So I keep on getting a lot of inquiries from the clients and not necessarily from the technical people like chief data officers, but even from the strategy people, the senior management. That is this really important? Is this just a buzzword, a fad? Uh, why do they need to be AI ready? So it would be interesting to know your perspective on that basic question. Hey, thank you, Saurabh. This is a question which everybody is asking that is it a is it really a um, you know, fad or this is really going to be transformative. And, uh, you know, I, I personally believe it's a, it's a revolution. It's kind of like uh, cell phone is or internet is. It's that kind of change. So it is going to transform a lot of, disrupt a lot of uh, industries. It's going to transform different industries. Uh, it will have a major significant change in companies that the way we operate right now compared to 10 years ago where the cell phone was not there or 15 years ago or 25 years ago when internet was not there. The industry used to look different. So similar to that, we think that this industry is going to, this this AI is going to change a lot. A um, lot of industry is going to be shifted and that's where, that, that's my perspective is. And also this perspective is also uh, kind of like overall, kind of everybody resonated at the same point of view in the market, I would say that. Got it. And you know, so initially, I'm just trying to uh, gain more clarity on what is uh, this beast AI. And we also keep on hearing about, you know, buzzwords like Gen AI, and then robotics is a big theme these days. And then, uh, you know, in my days, so I have worked, I've done a lot of data processing, data mining work for GE money. Uh, we used to use you know, AI or machine learning for our fraud prevention models. We have also done optimization using machine learning uh, in an operations research context. So when you say AI, what does it mean? Because to me, it seems like there are multiple things we are talking about, robotics on one hand, then Gen AI, chat GPT, and then we talk about the machine learning aspect. So how to uh, put all these variations of AI in context? Context. What's your- Very good question. Um, so I think the AI is a buzzword. Uh, I would say that buzzword in the sense is, is a larger category. Now the multiple uh, varieties of AIs are there, right? So, so uh, I think the machine, if you see the, the, it started even, I think 25 years ago when I was doing studying, at that time, neural network you course used to be there. So exactly. It, you might mm. have done that as well. Mm. So the neural network is the same concept, but because of availability of chips and availability of this um, uh, AI chip, we can, we have a lot more processing power now. So the neural network have come to the, uh, come to the fruit fruitfulness that we are able to solve a lot of use cases. Now let's see that like the generative AI is is obviously OpenAI is the one who created this. Uh, mm. uh, I would say the revolution in this area that which we understand the which we we fed a lot of text to it, which kind of the AI got smart about it. Right? So that's one part of things, but that is only one part of the equation. Uh, like okay. this is also going into the you know building a better graphics a generative, a kind of a general purpose AI, which is kind of a have a human kind of intelligence. Like that's what we are trying to build. There is a, obviously the machine learning is, is a big area of, of disruption is still there where this mm -hmm. AI industry can be used, right? So if you see overall, like at the very high level, what the AI is going to do in various industries, for example, uh, some industry is going to be disrupted. For example, a legal industry, right? Where the legal, I would say that because most of the information is the uh, is the uh, the knowledge about the law and context is already available in the books. So the lawyer, mm. what the lawyer does it can be done by computers now very easily. And mm. uh, the, again, the, you will need a law lawyer to to argue in the court. But a lot of backroom discussions and a lot of contract reading can be accomplished by AI now. So that this, mm. I, I believe that this area is going to be disrupted very heavily, right? But if you disrupt it in the sense, the new business model will come new, uh, maybe the AI plus uh, human based kind of business model will come. Some law firms will start in different areas. So the new mm. disruption will, will happen in this area. And for example, mm. if I say utility industry, which is electric generation industry, um, electric generation may not have that big of an impact of AI. Right, provided the we move the the the, the power generation from uh, from the power plants to 
solar plant right solar plant then it might be we might be getting a lot of data from them and might mm-hmm. do a little bit of ai to kind of do the power generation because of the weather prediction all these things come into the picture but otherwise you will not see a major disruption in the industry right okay. so again, it's going to be industry by industry you will have a legal industry to power industry to banking industry different different use case will emerge and based on that the disruption will happen differently and mm-hmm. the yeah as you say that there is a another question was that what is the what is the difference between the artificial intelligence or ai or there may be a predictive intelligence i would say that analytics or mm. ai is going to solve the problem and that's where the innovation is going to come so right now the generative ai have taken a front uh, you know the front uh, generation approach that is kind of we can see that how this is going to come into the market but in machine learning how is going to transform lot of use cases have not come up yet so we really don't know that how this is going to transform majorly but we can we have a fair idea that it's going to be transformed we can do sql in analytics much more faster now we'll be okay. able to do it faster because of availability of that 